Let's open these supply drops. I'm really hoping for the ASM one. Speak easy. Let's go, baby. No problemo. It's turbo time. So a lot of you know from my supply drop videos that I haven't had any luck getting the ASM-1 Speakeasy Elite variant yet or the Strider, but I really want to see what all the hype is about, you know, but I was reading through some of the comments and one of you guys mentioned that the Rigger variant is actually a lot better than the Speakeasy. So I got curious, I looked at the stats and it turns out that I do have the Rigger, I just never used it that much. Now statistically wise, the Rigger can actually be greater than the Speakeasy or the Strider, so without wasting your time. I'm going to show you how you can build your own elite ASM one and make it better than the Speakeasy and the Strider. Yeah. So let's take a look at the Speakeasy stats and find out why it's got so much hype. So right off the bat, it's got built-in extended mags, which means two things. One, obviously it means it carries more ammo capacity at 67 rounds per mag. And two, you can only put two other extra attachments if you wanted to. Now the fire rate comes in already at plus two, which is why this weapon is deadly. The higher the fire rate, the easier it is to melt enemies, especially at close to mid range which is why most people love this weapon. Now another thing to take notice is the minus one in damage and minus one in range. So already the Speakeasy has two negatives to it, but we can always add advanced rifling to increase the range by plus two, which would bring it up to a range of seven. And if we chose to add grip since it's our last attachment slot, it would bring the accuracy to eight. So this is what the Speakeasy would look like if I wanted to get the most out of it statistically wise. Now let's take a look at the Strider. It has plus one damage, which already is a positive, plus two in range, but a huge huge minus three in accuracy. So if I wanted to make this a better weapon, I would add grip to bring the accuracy up to a five, which is actually still lower than the normal ASM-1 at six. So in my opinion, with the way Advanced Warfare is so fast paced with enemies flying around everywhere and boosting left and right, the drop in accuracy isn't worth it to me at all. There would be way too much recoil. So if you take a step back and look at both the Speakeasy and Strider, it's not really all that great. So let me show you the rigor stats and why I believe it's better than the Speakeasy and the Strider if you put on the right attachments. So here's the Rigger without any attachments. It already has plus two in accuracy, bringing it to an eight, but in a minus two in handling, which I'm not worried about because all it relates to is how wide or narrow your hip fire shots are. And I've seen an in-depth video by Drifter and he says it himself that it's pretty much not that important and I don't hip fire much anyway. So if I were to add extended mags to match the round capacity of the Speakeasy, we now have 67 rounds per mag on the Rigger. Next, if we add rapid fire, it brings it up to a 13, just like the Speakeasy. But we will see a reduction in accuracy, bringing it down to a 6. No problemo. Just add grip and voila, we now have our original accuracy of 8. So there you have it. You now have an ASM-1 that is better than the Speakeasy and the Strider. Now here are the final stats of the Rigger. I've personally been using the Rigger and it really does melt, especially with the rapid fire attachment. It really does make a difference. You know, I've done some testing with time trials in the firing range and I came up with shorter finish times with rapid fire versus without it. So obviously this would do you well and melt your enemies pretty quickly. And let me add I've also tested without grip and you do need grip. Grip is needed because your gun is going to have noticeably more kick. I've tested it as well in the firing range and my accuracy was actually a lot lower than when I had it with grip on. So some of you might say what about the reckless? Well, you could argue that it has built in rapid fire already and with grip it brings it up to an accuracy of 8, but in my opinion, I can get a 13 fire rate in the rigor versus 12 fire rate with the reckless. So it's not much, but still statistically it looks better than the reckless. And like I said, the minus 2 in handling, I'm not so worried about and it's not really that important. So be sure to drop a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more advanced warfare if you're new and I'll be back. Yeah!